Hi guys, it's Dale from Elephant Memories, and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how I made a cool woodworking sign for our section in an art community building with leftover Baltic birch plywood. I thought a two-man cross-cut saw would be fun and to the point, then added some pigment powder to make it eye-catching. If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below to see more videos like this. So let's get started, shall we? I have an Epilog Mini 50 Watt Laser with a 12 by 24 bed. I cut two identical pieces of a two-man cross-cut saw for an overall width of 48 inches. Once it was cut on the laser, I did a quick sand to really clean the surface. I also did a light engrave for the text placement. That will be really helpful later. I attached these pieces by adding a 2 by 2 by 36 inch on the back with a generous amount of 15 minutes epoxy. Once that's set, I want to seal the plywood. For this, I'm using Halcyon, an amber gloss varnish by Total Boat. Just apply the entire surface with this using a foam brush. It dries fairly quickly and I was able to recoat in about one hour. I love the honey amber color for this. Now set this aside overnight to cure. Meanwhile, I'm cutting my text out of more plywood. These were about three inches in height. I like to leave the pieces in place by using painter's tape on the back. Be sure to sand well to create a clean surface. Next, I spray a liberal amount of shellac on the top. Not only will this seal the wood, but it will adhere the pigment powder to the wood in the next step. While the shellac is still wet, quickly brush on the colored pigment powder. Here I'm using Prussian Purple from Eye Candy Pigments. It's more like a really nice deep blue than a purple. You can use the affiliate links in the description below to use the products that I've been using in this project. Once I have completed the initial coat, I can now go back and really work the pigment into the shellac and wood surface. The powder spreads really well and you don't need much. I put my powder in a container that's lined with wax paper. You might need a little more to touch up areas that are a little thin and you don't want to put this back in the original container. So you can save any leftover for this or any other future projects. Let this dry for about one hour and repeat the shellac and powder process again, only if necessary. Once satisfied, seal the powder with another coat of shellac and let it dry for one hour. After it's dry, I'm going to remove the tape on the back because I don't want it to get stuck in there. For this same reason, I'm removing all of the pieces.
I've been using pigment powder lately instead of paint on my signs because it has a gorgeous luster effect. It's really different and definitely eye-catching. The pigments come in so many different colors and effects, like color shifting and even glowing in the dark. It just takes my signs to a whole new level. Now put the letters back in the template. Trust me on this one. So the last thing we do for the letter prep is a few coats of a rugged varnish. I'm using the Halcyon Clear Varnish from Total Boat. This really makes the color pop. Cover the front and reapply in one hour. Let this set overnight. I mixed up some 15 minute epoxy on some wax paper, spread some on the back of the letters and place on the wood sign. The epoxy is still a little viscous at this point, so you'll have to slightly reposition after a few minutes. One thing I didn't film was adding a keyhole on the back in the making of the handles. I'll make another video on this at a later date. Jeff attached the sign above the door using two screws that fit into the keyholes on the back. This came out so good and has really helped to direct people to the woodworking section of this five-story art community in an old converted mill building located in Lowell, Massachusetts. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. Your support means a lot to us. We'll see you next time.